All right, guys, on today's video, I'm going to talk about the 1084 plugin, two versions, one from the Universal Audio, the other for Plugin Alliance slash Lindel Audio. Okay, and yeah, so let's see what is the difference between these two, and let's talk about what, what is the sound we, we can achieve for, for this kind of plugin, you know, because it's a very classic sound, same as an um, API, you know. So yeah, let's go to Pro Tools and uh, I'm going to show you this. All right, so we are here in front of plugins, in front of the Pro Tools, and also in front of, of the session. And yeah, so actually, I bought these Universal Audio plugins from the last, you know, Christmas sale they had. I got it for very cheap, you know, with cubes and everything. Uh, but I bought this one, the Lindell, you know, Plugin Alliance version, like uh, two years ago. And I totally forgot I talk, talk about this one because I was working in some projects here. I don't use this as much because I'm very fun of the SSL sound, you know, especially, it's the, uh, I mean, especially the 4000 e you know, uh, channel strip from Plug Plugin Alliance 2. Okay, and uh, yeah, I really like, I mean, like that sound. I use this in some projects here that when someone asking me, hey, I want to sound like a more 70s-ish sound. If they want that kind of sound, I put this one in my mixes, you know? It's awesome plugin. But I saw that coupon, well, I mean, so Universal Audio give me this coupon because I bought another plugin, and then uh, I'm thinking, I have to buy this one because I have this one, but yeah, sure, let's go. Uh, let's go buy these two guys. So let's do this. This is a 1073, super famous one. I love the clone versions of the real unit. You can find this, you know, I love in so many brands. Man, but let's focus on this and the, and the 1084. And why? Because uh, it's technically the same, you know, uh, preamp and also almost MQ. The thing is, here I have only the, the high pass filter. And here I have both, you know, high and high, high and low filters. And this one is more close to the 1084 than the 1073. Why? Because for the filter and also for the highs, because here is a really fixed, you know, I don't have any um, frequency selector. I is just a, it's just a fixed, uh, high band, you know, and on the Lindo, I can choose same as this guy or go to my, or, or, or me, or be closer to the 1084 and also because he's almost the same, so let's focus on only these guys, okay? So it's pretty much the same thing, but let's focus on the 1084 because I remember back in the day, Rupert Neve still used the same components to make this one, okay? So let's see. We have our input, but by the way, this channel strip is just a plugin. This one is a Unicy preamp, and what does that mean? I can use this plugin as a preamp for my preamps in my Apollo. So this one have that's the reason you have a kit, the mic C, which is the impedance, could be high and low, and that's the reason I had the pad. No, and as you see, because I use this now as a plugin, no, as a preamp, I can use these two guys. So these two guys is only in the recording process only, not for mixing, okay? But still I have my fader, it's like my, my output here. I Well, the output here is a fader where I have two oh, outputs, if you wanna put it in this, in the Universal Audio version, you know? But the rest is almost the same. Oh, another difference. On the Play the Lightest version, I have a THD, which is the, the harmonic distortion, you know? I can be more or less. So this is for making even this more closer to the real deal. But for this case, let's put it in, in right in the middle. Plus the plugin, all the channel three for the plugin alliance, you know, brand, they have this TMT uh, NG. What is that mean? So in the console, you know, so the channel one through channel five is not the same because the components are not always the same, you know, sometimes, you know, the, also because 
the company you know, is, is like a, is like a is is one specific even like if it's made for the same factory sometimes it's not came as equal like a clones you know sometimes have some little variations here or there so that's the reason on this on 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 these cases like a day I don't know if it's true or not but that's what they said <laughs> the TMT is like a they try to, I mean they modeling channel by channel those little difference so I can put here drums one and two, three and four. So this is gonna sound a little slightly different than one and two, three and four, five and six. So, okay, that's a cool thing. You know, it's extra more uh, realistic stuff there. Plus this one, because it's a channel strip, I have the compressor and also the gate, but these two are off because on the unit, I mean, yeah, on the universal audio, I have only the preamp and the Q and that's it. So let's focus on, on the EQ, preamp, and that's it, okay? So, oh, plus I have the high EQ. This this button, I have it right here, and also I have it right here. What does that mean? The high EQ is the yeah, only works on the mid band, okay? And is to make the Q of the of the beam could be more narrow or more broad, okay? But I already I was playing with this, so let's go listen to this on the. Sorry, I have something in, in my eyes right now. I don't know what's going on. So and uh, yeah, sorry for that. So back to the video. Uh, so let's focus this on the um, drum grab, bass, guitars, vocals, and also on the whole mix in the master bass. Okay, and yeah, the man today is Night Hand, one of my favorites. I always. Pretty much I always use, you know, their tracks for my videos. And please don't forget to give me a like, to share this, to comment, you know, even to dislike this, because my channel is not monetized. And yes, guys, yeah, you are you are the only one who will help me to go to the next, I mean, to the next stage, because as you see, all these gear plus the plugins are like a, coming from my pocket and then you will help me to get a little, like a little extra money to buy more stuff and also for show you and making more reviews okay so yeah let's see how it's on these drums okay like i said i already pre eq everything so we'll know like uh uh wasting time to see which all the crops so already is pre q so for example all the drums this is on the drums grab okay and as you see, I have the same cuts, the same boots and cuts in the frequency. So let's focus on the sound, all right? So let's start with uh, Universal Audio. Let's see. Let me follow the drums. There it is. All right, Universal Audio 1084. Sounds cool. Play and light. They do the same, okay? Same amount of the gain on the on the input. Same cuts, same boots, same everything. Back to the One thing I noticed is no hush, but have more leaf on the highs than the universal audio. But, the, but this version is sounds more with more deep, more creamy if you want to put a, a name there. Both are good, but also the mean range is a little is slightly different too. Okay. I 
guess that's enough to have an idea what's going on on the drums. So let's move to the bass now. So the bass, there is. Now, let's see the universal audio. Yeah, the low end on the you know, slow is way more deeper. The Brian Alliance is like a more, not flat, but in, in compare. Yeah, if you compare those two, sounds flatter. Yeah, the deep is so cool there. Bypass boat. Of course, I I like that because I using the preamp section to get more distortion in the way in. That's the reason that you you listen like a, this difference between levels, but just it's just for the purpose of the beat, okay? So I'm not cheating, just in case. Sounds good. I still that one's so more creamy. <laughs> more, more 70s, yeah. That's the sound. 70s. The sound of rock and roll, you know, yeah, back to the 70s. That's crazy. Okay. okay, that's enough for bass, now let's move it to the guitars. Give the guitars, ah, there it is. All right, the universal audio. Damn, beautiful. Brian Lyons. Now this sounds way more close to each other. <laughs> Still, the the, the musical you have more deeper sound, but the new range is pretty close now. On, on yeah, on guitar is is more closer. Not bad. Yeah, that's deeper. I oh, know, to my ears is deeper. All right. I guess that's enough to have an idea what's going on with the guitars. Now let's move it to the vocals. Shall go to the ground, 
Depression splits my mind, growing its parasitic roots. Benevolence, torture, by thirst, train with solid acceptance. It's crazy. Both of the planes like uh, made the book as clean. Let's wait for the blockers coming up. Or maybe that's it for the buckles. So yeah, so that's I mean you can have an iron an idea what's going on. So yeah, the mid range on the bogle sounds quite different, but we have the same problem, or or maybe you like it. You know, the same with the drums. The the top end on the on the on the play and the ice version have is more on front. Here on the universal audio is not like that. I don't say this one is harsh. This one, excuse me, but. The, the, I mean, the top end here is more sweeter, if you want to put a name, you know, if you want to put an adjective, it's more sweeter. Hmm, interesting. Now let's go to the master bus, okay? have like a little scoop which is weird check this out on in the mix section have like a scoop there you 
universe love you, bro. Yeah, that's the way. Sounds good, but... It's a different animal. Sounds way more musical. If you're looking for more modern inch 1084, this is your guy. But if you wanna the 70s great sound, that's your guy. Oh yeah. Cool. I guess we got this already. Yeah. Stop this. <laughs> the river. Yeah, so um yeah. So what do you think? Which which do you prefer? The grainy 70s, more dirty version, or the more clear with clear top end for playing uh, for the plugin alliance. It's up to you. It's nothing wrong with your with your answer. It's whatever you want to look at, you know. But yeah, it's good. I made like a five albums using the plugin. I mean, yeah, the. 1084 plugin alliance, which is the name is actually the name of the plugin is Linux plugins A series, okay. But <laughs> no, bro, the Universal Audio is a different thing, bro. I really like it. But yeah, so that's all for today. I hope you really like this video and also learn something about these two plugins, these two companies. Both are great. Yeah, okay. But yeah, that's all. Please don't forget to subscribe, to give my like, to share this, to comment, and yeah, bye guys. See ya.